Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first the fighter on my right, fighting out of the B2 Digital Blue Corner. He stands at six feet three inches tall and weighed in at 255 pounds. Representing Dayton Vision MMA, Maurice Captain Yarborough. And his opponent to my left, fighting out of the Triton Funds red corner. Stands six feet four inches tall, weighed in at 215 pounds. He represents Outlaw MMA. Give it up for Daniel DJ Tennyson. Your referee for this fight is George Conley. So we got Maurice Yarbrough, who, um, that's a big boy. Yeah. Six foot three, 255 pounds. Yeah, yeah. And he, he has not broken eye contact yeah. with uh, Daniel Dennis. Have you noticed that the blue corners, they, they've been doing that the whole time. Some nasty stare downs right there. <laughs> Yarbr Does he have a Brock Lesnar tattoo on his chest? Yeah, I think so. Yarborough is one and one, but his one loss is to Lingo at Louisville Combat Academy. No shame in that. Immediate takedown. Yeah, we're going to see what uh, Yarborough can do from uh, that top position. Is he just going to pound him, or is he going to go for a submission? Yeah, Daniel Dennison looks uh, comfortable. Just, I'm not going to say go for a guillotine, but just kind of stalling the match. Yeah, and yeah. it's a real easy way to burn your arms out. Yeah, you have to be careful that at that point, if you're not going to get the choke, you need to just be holding it to kind of keep the guy in, in, in close and defend yourself. But you can't be squeezing with all your might and you know, trying to submit the it, it, If you look at Maurice, he just switched over to side mouth, which just kind of took any leverage that, uh, oh, that Daniel would have had. He could go for that Von Flew choke if he can't. If he can get better side map position, good knee being thrown right there. Does it look like he's working on some Von Flew pressure? That's what I was wondering right there, but it's kind of hard with his position against the side of the, of the cage right now. Well, he, he, you see Yarborough pep peppering Dennis's body. Um, he's peppering, but he's not able to get full extension on it. You know, so they're not—they're they're hard punches, but they're not game changing. It's going to make him him move the way. It's kind of uncomfortable. Yeah. Well, now he's separated. You know, Daniel Dennison uh, has been uh, training for four years. And, um, you know, it took his time to, to uh, make his debut. That's for sure. Not debut, but, you know, take his time, you know, entering into the sport. Oh, wow. yeah. Daniel spins around. Never a good idea. So right now, if, you, if you're Maurice Yarborough, you're going to have to... You got a little bit of a cut on the face of Daniel Dennison. You got to like the... Ma Maurice has got to catch his breath. Ooh. And, uh, yeah, Dennison is, oh, is definitely leaking. Slam. A lot of blood in there. Punch at the back of the head right there. He's got, I mean, I know it feels like a good idea to grab that head, but not a good idea. You get armbar nastily from that position. And Maurice is just kind of... He's got to move up there. He'll get moving. Yeah, he just kind of quit moving right there. Referee's going to stop it. Well, you know, the referee told Dennison to uh, kind of put himself in a better position, and he just kind of as soon as know, turned he kinda, towards the mat. You know, it's, as soon as he turtled up, he was going to stop That's it. kind of a wrap. Yeah, yeah. I can understand that. We, we, we talked about this. You know, depending on the levels, there's levels to everything. When you kind of turtle up, they're going to kind of say, okay, we've seen enough. Yeah, especially after a verbal warning. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm okay with that. You yeah. know, and, and you know, it's you took some damage, but it wasn't enough to where, uh, you know, you're going to be out of the gym for a couple months. Yeah. It was good. You know, good learning experience for both fighters. Yeah. Good stoppage. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, yeah, like you said, uh, it, was, it was a stoppage. And I don't know about a good stoppage, but it was a stoppage. <laughs> Are you ever happy with stopping? Nah, sometimes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Depends on the person. If I like him, stop. Right, right. Him. If not, let him suffer. Depends no. on that pre-fight interview. <laughs> <line. laughs> yeah. How they treated me, right? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called a stop to this fight at 2 minutes and 28 seconds of round number one. Declaring the winner by TKO due to unanswered strikes, Maurice. Captain Yarborough!